Sorry, I'm late. My car broke down on the way. That's the oldest excuse in the book. Can you look very comfortable? I'm not gonna say I'm a classic guy in gym wear. I just find it all a bit silly, this following a dress code for a date and all that. All right, who made up the rules anyway? Oh, uh, I don't know, dressed to impress. Hey. I am dressed to impress. I just happen to be comfortable too. When you think that gives you a free pass to be late? No. But being fast to be late gives me the perfect opportunity to show you what you've been missing. <sighs> really? Yeah, but you've never seen someone work a room like me. And how exactly do you plan to work this room? A bit of charm, a bit of wit, a bit of magic. Magic? <laughs> what, have you got a... Rabbit in your pocket. I actually do. That's not even a rabbit. It's not about what it is. It's about what you do with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what do you do? I'm a writer which basically means that I spend a lot of my time staring at a blank screen, hoping inspiration will strike. Uh, glamorous life of a writer. I'm a personal trainer myself. I spend my days yelling at people to do one more. <laughs> well, so that basically means that you have trouble counting. <laughs> Spoke. So how about you? Are you into your sports? Uh, I sometimes like to go for a jog, but I mostly run after my dog. <laughs> Wait, I thought it says you didn't have a dog. Are you getting me confused with one of your other dates? Oh, no, 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 I'm not that bad. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but fair enough. I bet your dog runs circles around you. I'm pretty fast. I'm not a professional athlete, but I think that I, well, I think I could beat you in a race. Oh yeah. Well, you've got a great sense of humour. I'd say Prince Charming. I'm just gonna run to the loo real quick. <laughs> and I don't want to feel your eyes burning a hole in my backside as I walk away. I'll do my best, but no promises. Serious? It's just a weird hobby that I have. Okay, I'm intrigued. I collect cat hair. Cat hair? Yes. Like actual cats? I love them. I love the feel of, of the fur between my fingers. It's so soft and fluffy. I mean, as long as you're not harming them. Um... I just wanted to see your face. <laughs> okay, you got me there. <sighs> yeah, that got me. That's a good one. Is everything okay? You're calling me? No, I'm not. My phone's in my bag. My name's not Lucy. What are you talking about? Oh my... I think there's... I think there's been a mix-up. I'm guessing your name's not Danny. No, I'm Adam. Adam! <laughs> I think I've been... I, th <laughs> I think I've been stood up. This is oh, so fucking uh, awkward. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, that's, that is uh, so awkward. Uh, could we still exchange contact details? 
Uh, I'm just finding this all a bit weird, actually, and and now I'm gonna feel like your substitute date or something. I don't know. It's probably here as well. It's probably fucking here. I mean, I actually need to take this. Can you just just don't go anywhere? Just one, one sec. Oh my god. I'm so sorry about all this. Um, um, but it's my fault. I, I just assumed that you were... I'm so sorry. Okay, um, <clears throat> actually, you know you said earlier about how fast I am? Yeah. Okay, how about next weekend, 12 noon, we meet at the race course and have a race. Okay. If we win, we can go on a second date, and if I win, you have to get a tattoo of my choosing. Deal. Oh, sorry I'm late, my car broke down. I can relate, Ashley. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm, I'm sorry I'm a bit casual today. Uh, you look great. Thanks. <laughs> so what do you do for fun? Sorry, what? I, I was just wondering what you did for fun. Oh, um, I don't know. I like to hang out with my friends, go to movies. Stuff like that. Sure. You seem a bit distracted. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Just replying back to messages. I've got a lot on um, DMs and all of that. <laughs> Can I get you guys something to drink? Um, no, we're okay, thank you. Can I just get the bill from the previous order, please? Thanks. Also, just to let you know, the lady from earlier has already paid for it. Oh, well, thank you. No worries. <laughs> Sorry, what? Huh? You were here earlier with someone else, in this restaurant, at this table. Well, yeah, kind of. It was kind of fun too, actually. <laughs> what the hell? You're supposed to be here with me, and you're telling me you've already been on a date today. <sighs> no, that is so disrespectful. Wow. You know what, I'm... I'm just gonna go. But before I do, a piece of advice for your future dates? Be present, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Jackies are perfect this time. Well, I thought I'd wear the right stuff. What, what are you wearing though? Well, I can run in them. They're, they're comfy. They're good. It's yeah, fine. sure. <laughs> good day for it. Yeah, what do you mean? Okay, Why you ready? Why did you chicken out this time? Well, yeah, I wasn't gonna leave you on your own, was I? Okay, sure. Uh, what are you doing? You've got to stretch before you run, don't you know? Your lace is undone. Oh, thank you. And go! Hey! <laughs> That's cheating! finally decided to take me out on a date. <laughs> well, let's be honest, you only won because I let you. <laughs> so you admit in defeat then? No, I didn't say that. I'm just saying that maybe 
I let you in because I wanted to see you again. Did you ever hear from Danny? Did he come up with a good excuse for standing up? Oh, the great disappearing Danny. <laughs> no, I never heard from him again. Clearly not a gentleman, unlike myself. <laughs> oh, yes, true gentleman. <laughs> One who is always on time and never keeps the lady waiting. Hey, better late than Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Very <Right>? clever. <laughs> It's been a while since I've met anyone that can keep up with my banter. <laughs> you mean bad jokes? Mm. Mm -hmm. Adam, I have a secret to tell you. Oh, go on then. What's this secret? It's a bit complicated. Right. Go on, tell me. Tell me, just tell me. Go on. I'm a time traveller. <laughs> what, like Doctor Who or something? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Sure. I'm from the future and I've been sent back to prevent a catastrophic accident from happening. Okay. And I've been monitoring you, Adam. Oh, I, I, I'm intrigued. Oh, did we invent those flying cars? No, not exactly. Oh, that's disappointing. Mm. I was really looking forward to cruising around in my flying Volvo. <laughs> <gasps> Did England win the World Cup? Is football finally coming home? Is it? <laughs> it's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. Football's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. Football's coming home. <laughs> Is it? Is it? <laughs> Sorry, I can't mess with the timeline like that. But, if time travel is possible, doesn't that mean that the future already exists and we're just, like, living through it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. But the future is not set in stone and our actions can change it, so it's up to us to determine our destiny. So it's like that old saying? The future is what we make of it. Exactly. So, let's make the most of our time together then, right? Hold on. If you're from the future though, doesn't that mean that you know if this kiss is going to be absolutely awful? <laughs> let's just say I'm feeling particularly confident about this moment. Okay. Well, let's not keep the future waiting. <laughs>